I'm trying to um, start reading again. Like, when I was, uh, you know, high school, I used to read a lot, like, books on books, um, m mostly fantasy novels, but, you know, then I starting, started reading less, getting less interested in, you know, basically all my hobbies, and now I just seems I can I can't read at all like I don't have any um, my atten attention span is reduced to absolute zero and I barely I bought some months ago the book um, uh, what's called flatland Flatland, um, you know, uh, wait, I, let me, give me just a second. Uh, the book, yeah, was, uh, that flatland from uh, uh, Edwin uh, Abbott, Edwin A. Abbott, and I barely finished it some months ago, and because I couldn't fucking concentrate while I was reading it, and you know, I already forgot most of it. You know, I, I get the gen general theme, but... And it was a good book, but... I don't know. Then, uh, I, uh, together with that, I had bought um, A Study in Red, you know, uh, one of the uh, Sherlock Holmes novels. But this one, I... For the love of God, I even got out of the first chapter. Like... I I couldn't get into the story. I kept uh, you know whenever I was reading him. I don't know if maybe I was tired or uh, you know I had uh, I was taken from something, but I uh, I just uh, couldn't. And whenever I, I was um, reading it, if I was like um, on uh, uh, on my bed, I would keep falling asleep. I tried to read it on the, reading it on uh, the train, and still I kept get felt too felt tired. Maybe it was the time of day. Maybe. Because I was doing it, you know, after work, uh, and I was tired, and I don't know, maybe it was that. But now um, I bought some new books because there was um, uh, there's uh, this um, book chain called Filtering Early in My Country, and they were doing an offer two books for nine fifty, and I bought. Um, 21, uh, these two books, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century uh, by uh, Yu Yuval Noah Harari, I think I pronounced it correctly, I barely even read the first chapter yesterday, and, you know, but, uh, so I don't, <laughs> I can't give an opinion on the book, but at least it's, I'm getting into it better than when I was reading, um, studying Red, so maybe, maybe I'll get to the end of it without, uh, abandoning it. And the other one I bought was, um, the four. The Fall of Gondolin, I think you can translate it into English. 
it was it's a book by J.R.R. Tolkien. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how it's called in uh, English. It's just um, a story of, and about Middle Earth, and I still haven't read it. But the thing is, I decided to buy these two because you know at least i had um, you know um and how can you say it's uh you know a book that it's not a story how is it in in english i forgot the term and uh, you know a fantasy novel a fantasy story so you know if in case I get tired of one I can jump into the other and still get to read something you know basically all of this just to you know try to jump start my jump start back my passion for books I guess just to get things starting i don't know it's just that i'm miss reading or maybe i, I miss the person i was when i was i had the time to read it was i feel like back then life was easier and probably it was i was just teenager and i didn't have the I didn't feel like the weight of the world was on my shoulder and you know when I read it was escapism I could my mind was racing I was with the people that I was reading about I was into a fantasy world I could get myself into but now I just I don't know, I just can't. And everything feels so tiresome and I don't know, maybe I wish I could talk about it with someone. I just talk about books, talk about this kind of stuff. Because I'm also reading mangas, but um let's say I'm just in a sort of pose because um Basically, the main series I'm reading are um, Chainsaw Man, that, and I have the latest chapter that has come out. The eighth chapter, it uh, volume, yeah, eight volume, and so I need to wait until the next one comes out. Then I am I'm two volumes in into um spy family but i can't find the other volumes because i came in too late and they're not reprinting them yet so i'm just um you know um i don't know trying to find them i don't want to order on amazon because and uh, let's say it's problematic to get shit to come to me because they have cancelled my name from the okay uh how can i explain it it's kind of hard to explain it in english um you know i'm with a company i rent um, um no, how I say? Uh, I rent uh, um, the room I'm in from a company. I this company owns the house I'm in, and I just rent a room from them with uh, two other people that have their separate room. I'm fucking shit at explaining <laughs> my my rent situation, but okay. The gist of it, I rent a room, um, the house the, the the house belongs to a company, I rent a room in this house, 
and um, they have eliminated the name of the company from because reason and they have deleted the name of the company from the how do you call the buzzer the the thing at the in front of the um at the main entrance of the building so uh when the um when the amazon courier comes i won't know and uh, also there is basically a problem with the fact that uh, the delivery thing in italy is kind of shit because a lot of time they just don't ring or just don't call you they say that you weren't home and just bypass you and then they do that the second time the third time and you have to go to uh, their center because they didn't want they didn't bother calling you or shit like that and that's it even though you were home and you could always answer and so that's the reason i don't try to avoid getting shit delivered to me and in the age of Amazon, that's basically a suicide. But I think uh, if I want to continue to read Spy Family, I'll have to. Then... What else? Oh yeah, I'm re also reading um, uh, Made in Abyss, but I'm stuck in fourth fourth volume I have until the 8th but I can't get out of the first volume because I someone spoiled me the story and I don't want to continue because I'm already heartbroken and I'm already depressed and I don't need to get suicidal I don't need to have that shit into my life at the moment but I bought into until the 8th because I'm dumb and because there was a discount if you bought more volumes and I'm dumb and I wasted my money but yeah fuck life I guess so I'm trying to just avoiding reading that by just Filling my life with books, so I don't have to read Made in Abyss because, you know, at least I'm doing something, you know, at least I'm reading. You know, even though, you know, I paid money for those volumes, those manga volumes that cost a more than regular mangas because reasons and... I just don't want it, but I know that because I paid money for it, I end up doing it. It's just... Don't question my judgment. I'm just like that. <laughs>